Welcome to AdWords. This course is the first in our three-stage Getting Started series to help you set up your AdWords account for success. This first course will cover everything you need to know to create your AdWords account, so let's now take a look at the agenda. We'll cover the AdWords essentials, the things you should know before you set up your account. We'll then go through the details of creating your account, your first campaign, and entering your billing information. Once you've completed the steps in this course, your account will be up and running, and I'll also give you tips along the way to create a winning account. So let's now get started. The AdWords Essentials. A few things you should know before you create your account. So what is AdWords? Well, AdWords is Google's advertising product, which allows businesses, large and small, to promote their products and services on Google and on our partner network. But how does it work? Firstly, you create your ads and choose keywords, which are words or phrases related to your business. Then your ads appear on Google and partner sites. When people search on Google using one of your keywords, your ad may appear next to the search results, so you're advertising to an audience that's already interested in what you have to offer. Then you attract customers. People can simply click on your ad to visit your website, make a purchase, or learn more about you. It's that easy. Great, but where will your ads actually appear? Let's take a look at that now. AdWords ads appear on the Google search results page, above and to the right hand side of the search results. The search results in the main section of the page are completely separate to AdWords. You cannot influence the search results or alter the way your site appears in the natural search results by using AdWords. To learn more about the natural search results, please visit google.co.uk forward slash webmasters. Your AdWords ads may also show on relevant display network sites. The Google Display Network is a large, diverse network of sites that partner with Google. On the Display Network, you can show your ad to potential customers when they're looking at sites relating to your product or service. For example, if you sell used cars, your ad could appear here and on many other sites in the Google Display Network, such as these. Using the Display Network along with search means you can reach your customers no matter what they're doing on the web. We work with lots of different sites, from large publishers to small speciality sites, such as blogs, social networking sites, and discussion forums. And the AdWords system uses targeting technology, so your ad will only ever appear on sites that are relevant. So now let's take a quick look at a few key terms and concepts. Understanding what these mean will help you when using AdWords. Keywords are the words or phrases a Google user types into the search box. A keyword is often more than one word, and with AdWords, two or three word keywords usually work best. In this example, the keyword is used cars for sale. With AdWords, you specify the keywords for which you want your ad to appear, so your ad will only appear to users who are searching for your product or service. Cost per click, or CPC, is the amount of money it will cost you each time someone clicks on your ad and visits your website. This is the main form of pricing with AdWords, and means you only ever pay for visits to your site. You are completely in control of the amount you pay, on both a per click and a daily basis, so you can be sure you are never charged more than you specify in your AdWords account. Ad quality is an important concept to understand as it forms the basis of how AdWords works. The AdWords system rewards relevant quality advertising with a higher position on the search page and lower costs. In simple terms, this means that the ads you create with AdWords will perform better and cost you less if they are highly targeted to your customers. AdWords uses this system so users can find what they're looking for quickly and simply. And the good news is, if they do, they're more likely to be interested in what they find when they get to your site. I'll give you pointers for how to achieve high quality as we go through the campaign creation process. So now that you understand the basics, let's create your AdWords account. Creating an AdWords account couldn't be simpler. Visit adwords.google.co.uk and click on Try AdWords Now. You will then be guided through the steps needed to create your account specifying an email address and password that you will use to log into AdWords. This is also the page you will need to visit each time you log into AdWords. To log into your account at any time, you need to enter your email address and password here. If you use bookmarks, you may want to bookmark this page so you can easily find it later. So, once you have set up your account, you will be prompted to create your first campaign and submit billing details. These are essential steps to get your ads up and running. Firstly, let's create your first AdWords campaign, and I'll give you some tips along the way to help you set up a winning campaign. When you first log into your account, you will see this screen. 
Click on Create your first campaign to get started. Your first campaign should focus on one main product or service you want to promote. So think about what that is now. You can come back later to create additional ads to advertise more of your products. Focusing on one product or service from the start will mean your campaign is high quality and so will be more successful. On this page you will also find a link to our beginner's guide which will give you a host of information to help you set up and manage your new account. The first step to create your first campaign is to specify your settings. This is all done on this one page, but don't worry, if you change your mind about any of these settings later, they can easily be changed at any time. Firstly, campaign name. Give your campaign a recognisable name. This will make it easy to manage your account. Name your campaign after the first product or service category that you want to start advertising. Next, location. Where are your customers located? Location targeting allows you to show your ads to your customers, wherever they are. Choose what combination of locations, including countries, regions, cities or customised areas, you want to target. Remember to set your location targeting to match where you do business or where you deliver to. Targeting outside your delivery area may lead to unprofitable clicks as visitors to your site cannot purchase from you. If you deliver to a wide audience or internationally, focus initially on one location. You can create a number of smaller campaigns with customised ads for each market later. Language Language targeting allows you to show your ads only to customers who speak a certain language. The language that you choose should be the same language you will use to write your ads and that your website is written in. If you want to reach customers in more than one language, you can create separate campaigns for each language later. Make sure to focus your first campaign on one language, your ads will be more successful. Networks Networks and devices settings determine where on the internet and on which types of devices your ads will appear. Here you can choose to show on Google search and or the Google display network we discussed earlier. You can also choose whether to show your ads on computers and or iPhones and other mobile devices with internet functionality. We recommend that you target all networks and devices to gain maximum exposure for your business. Bidding option your bidding option is one of the ways that you control the cost of your ad campaign. Your bid is the amount that you're willing to pay for a click on your ad. Here you can choose either manual bidding which allows you to control your own bids according to what you think each click will be worth to you or automatic bidding where the AdWords system will manage your bids to get you as many clicks as possible within your budget. If you are new to online advertising or if you are unsure about how to set your bids then get started using automatic bidding. You can switch to manual bidding to give you greater control at a later date. If you choose automatic bidding here, you can also set a CPC bid limit, which will mean you never pay more per click than the amount you set. Budget. Your daily budget controls your costs and determines how often your ads are shown each day. When your costs reach your budget amount, your ads will stop showing for that day. Set your budget at the maximum amount you are comfortable spending each day. If you are spending your full budget on clicks, your ads may only show some of the time. By setting a higher budget, you increase the likelihood that your ads will be visible to potential customers every time they search. There are additional advanced settings on this page. If you're new to AdWords, don't worry about these settings for now. Now your campaign settings are complete, click Save and Continue. The next stage is to create your first ad text. Your ad text is what your customers will see when they search for your product or service. Use your ad to persuade your potential customers to visit your website. Try to tell your customers as much as possible within the ad text to ensure they choose your ad over competitors. Remember to focus this first ad on your main product or service. You can come back later to create more ads for any additional products you want to advertise. The best headlines relate directly to what was searched for, so try to include the product or service name that you are advertising in your headline. Your headline can be up to 25 characters, including spaces. Try to convey the key details of the product on offer. For example, the model, price or a discount. Add a call to action, such as order online, to let customers know what they should do on your site. Your description lines can be up to 35 characters, including spaces. The second line of your ad text should highlight any unique selling point that can distinguish you from your competitors. Remember, your customers will choose you over others, purely based on the benefits that your ad is selling. Try to add delivery details, limited offers, or customer support details to this line of your ad. The display URL is the website address that will appear at the bottom of your ad. This gives a clear idea of where the customer will be taken when they click on your ad. Your display URL should be the address of your website homepage. If you have room, try adding an extension to your URL to further describe your product. For example, www.example.com forward slash product. 
Note that your display URL can be up to 35 characters in length. Your destination URL is the address of the page on your website that a visitor is taken to when they click on your ad. On your website, find the page that shows information about the product or service which you offer in the ad. Copy the address of this page and use this as the destination URL. If visitors do not immediately see what they are searching for, they are more likely to leave your site. Linking to a specific page on your website will therefore usually give better results than linking to your home page. So that's it, you've now created your first ad. But how will your customers find your ad? Now let's create your keyword list. Your keywords are the words or phrases that will trigger your ads to customers when they are looking for your product or service online. If your keywords are highly relevant to your ad, you are likely to receive more clicks and more sales. Make sure each keyword is relevant and specific to the ad you have just written. Imagine what you would search for if you were looking for your product or service on Google. Note that one word keywords are likely to be too general, so try adding phrases with two or three words. You should include relevant variations, single and plural versions, synonyms or product and brand names. Try to add 10 to 20 keywords to get you started. Use our sample keywords to help and simply click add to add them to your campaign. Once you've chosen your keywords, click on the estimate search traffic button to see an estimate of the number of clicks per day you may receive based on your chosen keywords, daily budget and maximum cost per click. You will only get a true picture of how your campaign is performing once it has been running for a few days however, so check in regularly to monitor your performance. And that's all there is to it. You've now created your first campaign, so once you're happy with all of the details, just click save and continue to billing. You will need to add in billing details before your ad starts to run. In addition, some ads need to be reviewed by the Google team before they are eligible to run. So let's now take a look at how to add in your billing details and activate your account. Your AdWords ads won't start running until you have submitted your billing details and these have been verified by the AdWords system. If you are using a prepay billing method, you will also need to transfer funds into your account before your ads will start to run. The first step of adding your billing details is to simply select the country of your billing address and the time zone for your account. Be careful as the time zone you set here cannot be changed and it will affect how your AdWords statistics are reported in your account. Now you will select your form of payment. These will vary upon where your billing address is located, but with AdWords we generally offer two types of payment method, postpay and prepay. Note that you won't be able to switch from a postpay option to a prepay option or vice versa, so be careful when selecting your payment method here. If you select the postpay option, you'll only make payments after you accrue advertising costs. You'll be billed 30 days after your last payment or when your account costs reach your billing threshold, whichever comes first. If you select your prepay option, you'll pay for advertising before receiving any clicks or impressions. You can add funds to your AdWords account whenever you like and will deduct costs from that balance. Your ads will start showing as soon as we receive your first payment and will notify you when your balance is running low. If you do run out of funds, your ads will stop showing until you make another payment. Once you've chosen a billing method, click continue. Read through and accept your terms and conditions and click continue. On the next page, follow the steps to enter your payment information. If you've chosen a postpay billing option, your ads can begin running as soon as we've validated your form of payment. If you've chosen prepay, you will need to make your first payment before your ads begin to run. And there you have it. Your first campaign is now up and running. To get the most out of AdWords, you will need to check on your account regularly to understand how it's working and to create and edit your ads. The next webinar in this series will walk you through your account and show you the ropes so you can really make the most of your new account. Thanks for watching this on-demand course and good luck with your new account.